Today's episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, where you can compare cruise prices with easy-to-use cruise search. Morning from the port of Keelung. We are in Taiwan for the first time in our lives and we're really thrilled to go and have a family adventure today. So we have had two extremely restorative sea days. The jet lag is real, you guys. We were absolutely exhausted after a couple of port days in Japan and really needed to recharge our batteries. We did, we're feeling great. Our sleep schedule has adapted to the plus however many hours over here in Asia and we are ready to rock and roll. So yeah, Keelung is a little bit warmer than the ports that we were at in Japan, but it's by no means warm. So we are kind of packing a variety of different clothes for our day. So let me tell you very briefly about our shore excursion then we'll go into more detail later. Today, we are going to a hot springs resort and a geo park. So the reason that I wanted to tell you that is because I am packing one of the most unusual shore day bags that I have ever packed for this day. So let's go inside and I'll show you what's inside and then we'll tell you more about the shore excursion and how the cruise has been going, like the kids club, meeting the captain, all kinds of good things a little bit later today because we have to catch a bus. I mentioned that this is a wacky shore day bag and it really is. So today we're going to Yan Min Shan Hot Springs and Ye Lu Geographic Park. So at this resort that we're going to, we'll have changing rooms and towels and things like that, but we're actually taking swimsuits for the whole family. And get this guys, I'm actually taking a shower cap. One of our subscribers told us that it's a good idea to take a shower cap with you if you're planning on going in. And I don't know if they provide them. So thank you to whoever suggested that. Very, very good idea. Interestingly enough, we also have to take copies of our passports, which the ship provided to us um, because they have taken our passports and they're preparing our visas for Vietnam. So this is going to be our identification for the day. And of course, our shore excursion tickets. I'm also taking taking a full wallet today and I'll be putting everything inside of this backpack. You guys have seen this backpack before. Nothing too special. I'm also taking a hat because it's very drizzly outside and the weather is just kind of all over the map. I don't think I need really warm clothes. So I'm going to go with kind of a little um, rain jacket and a hat and maybe like a light sweatshirt. As always, taking my Santa hands and bottled water. I'm also taking my selfie ring light. I love this thing. This is great. Good for anyone who wants to add a little bit of light to their, to their video. It's fantastic. Then we have sunglasses for the whole family, honey, except yours. I just realized this is not the whole family. This is just two. So remind me to grab your glasses. And then of course I'm taking my cruise card in a little lanyard today. Goggles for my son in case there's a regular swimming pool there, which I don't know. And we're taking flip-flop sandals for the whole family so that when we're around the pool deck, we're kind of covered and we don't have to walk around barefoot. So yeah, this is definitely a strange shore day bag, but we're very much looking forward to this big adventure. So we gotta go. Well, that happened fast. <laughs> we met in the Explorer's Lounge and within two minutes, our group was being called off the ship. So yeah, efficient operation today. So that'll be blue 11 and blue number 12 for two KE one one. to the Hot Springs and Geo Park got a sweet double-decker bus. And we're sitting on the top of a double-decker bus right in the front, so this should be a really nice ride. Junior at Mr. Crusoe TV got the front row seat. And I am your tour guide today. My name is Mavis. Mavis. And welcome everyone. Good morning, everyone. So yeah. today's itinerary is that first we will move to our first stop, that is Geofic Park. That is called Ye Liu, Ye Liu Geophic Park, Ye Liu Geophic Park. And then our next will move to a, a resort that is called Tian Lai Resort. We will have lunch over there. 
And after lunch, that is our big item today. We'll have a hot spring experience. Hot spring experience over, over there. Hot spring. So that thing we just took a picture of is actually not the real Queen's Head Rock. That is a 3D replication because they fear that over time the Queen's Head will just snap. So they wanted to build a little replica of it that you can take photos with. We're just now entering Yalo Geo Park. We were at the visitor center before and here is a first look. Queen's Head and that is the line to take a picture in front of it so now you see why we took our photo in front of the replica but there it is in all its glory. It's 10.30 and we just spent an hour at the Geo Park. We're headed back to our bus and our next stop is going to be to go to the Hot Springs Resort where we will have two hours to enjoy the hot springs and one hour for lunch. And then after that, we're going to a national park of some sort. I kind of tuned out a little bit on the bus and I don't know the details, but we'll figure it out. Geo Park was awesome. It's cold today and really windy, so I can see how doing this in the summertime might actually be a little bit more desirable. I should also mention that it was super crowded out at the Geo Park. Even in cold weather like this, it was just a sea of people standing in lines to get photographs at the kind of more popular monuments. I can't even imagine what it would be like in the summertime when it's warm. mountain area to have a hot spring. As I said, the resort is dead in the hot, uh, sorry, in the mountain area, in the mountain area. We just arrived at the resort. This is the Tian Lai Resort up in the mountains, just outside of Taiwan and we are getting checked in for a buffet lunch. It's all decked out for Christmas in here, it's so pretty. Welcome to Tian Lai Hot Springs Resort. We have found ourselves a nice little pool. There are all types of different temperatures to choose from. Unfortunately, it's rainy and drizzly, so I can't vlog too much because my phone 
is gonna get wet and something just dripped right in my eyeball. Anyway, this is pretty crazy cool. There's only a very slight sulfuric smell in the air. It's nothing like we were expecting. The locker room situation was a little bit crazy and chaotic, but we got it done. And now we're just soaking away for the next two hours. There are lots of different hot spring baths to choose from here at Tian Lai. We found a nice temperature for the whole family and we're enjoying a little rest after a delicious lunch. Really good buffet. They have a little bit of Western food, but mostly some really cool Taiwanese specialties. love my sexy shower cap. Okay, in all seriousness, you guys, there are fish in this pool. It's a very cold pool, but I'm gonna do this for research purposes. So, all right, let's just do it. Uh, oh my goodness sakes. Oh my goodness, hello fishies, oh! Does this remind you? Oh my goodness! Yes, oh! Oh, come on in, son. Bring in your little footies. This is the cave sauna. I don't want to film in there because there's some guy trying to relax, so we'll uh, check it out quietly. So we found out that the particular hot spring we were sitting in pretty much the whole time had medicinal properties. So yeah, we're feeling really good now. Anyway, we made a really smart decision and kind of got out of there a little bit early before the crowds hit the locker rooms. We all had time to shower, blow dry our hair. We're feeling so refreshed and ready to go. And now we're just exploring the property a little bit. So there's a lot to do here. This would be a really amazing hotel to stay at if you're visiting Taiwan. It's about maybe three, four hundred dollars a night and there's just a ton to do. The food is good, the staff is great, it's very comfortable, very lovely. And if you're visiting Taiwan and you can get a day pass to come here and enjoy the hot springs, I highly, highly recommend it. Now we're going off to find our motor coach and we're off to some sort of a national park. Welcome to Yangmingsheng National Park. I hope I said that correctly. So this area has post-volcanic activity, which is continued heating of the underground water. And as you can tell, it's very cold, very misty. We're not gonna be able to see much, but you can definitely smell the sulfur around here. I'm going back to the bus. Ah! We just stepped back into our stateroom. It's about 4.30 and I just wanted to show you guys how gray and dark it has been, or it is right now. It's actually been surprising to me how early it gets dark, or it has on this cruise. Obviously it's the middle of winter, but 4 o'clock, 4.30, it's starting to get pretty dark. It's really interesting. So it's kind of gray and rainy. Unfortunately, we had another really unseasonably cold day, but it was, it was super fun. It was a great excursion. I would highly recommend it if you're coming to Taiwan. So I wanted to share with you guys what we're going to be doing next, because this is hilarious. We got this um, birthday card thing in our room this morning for our son. And basically what it is, is it's a $50 birthday gift certificate to use in the salon or spa here on the ship for the birthday boy. So <laughs> we forgot to pack toenail clippers and his toenails are totally out of control. So we were like, why don't we just get him a little mini pedicure? You know, spend the $50 on something. So we called them and made a little reservation for 5.30. So I'm gonna make a cup of hot tea and thaw out a little bit. And then that is where we are headed up to the Lotus Spa for a little junior pampering. We'll see if he can handle it or if it's just gonna tickle him into Giggleville, USA. Junior is getting his first pedicure. It'll probably be his last pedicure for quite some time too, but hey, we were going to take advantage of that birthday voucher. So right now, he's getting his little feet soaked and then he's going to be getting a nice scrub and his nails trimmed and some sort of a mask. Only on a cruise, friends. Only on a cruise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Wait, the stones tickle? <laughs> the stones tickle? I kind of wonder. Yeah, what? Right? Yeah, we play. It just tickles. Does it tickle? <laughs> So yeah, it tickled him pretty much the whole time and he couldn't even handle the hot stones. It was just too ticklish. So basically he's getting a fancy pants pedicure, but he's just sitting over there giggling about the massage <laughs> chair, right? <laughs> Junior is safely tucked in at Camp Discovery. He's been begging to go to the kids club every day on this cruise. Super different for us, but we're really happy that he's making friends from all over the world. So we're gonna leave him there for about an hour or so and then go pick him up for dinner. And I guess right now we'll just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Roam the ship, grab a cocktail, something like that. I wanted just to mention too, <laughs> the seas last night were crazy rocky. We had a huge swell. And I had a water bottle sitting on my nightstand and it like literally fell on the ground in the middle of the night. I've never had that happen before. This was probably one of the rockiest nights we've ever had on a cruise. It was super crazy, but thankfully, most of it happened in the evening. So at dinner time yesterday, there weren't a lot of people. It got really quiet early on because I think people were getting a little bit motion sick and I felt really bad for all those poor people who were like, oh gosh, I don't feel good. So hopefully they were able to get off and enjoy the ship today in Taiwan. Also wanted to mention that um, we got to see the captain of the ship this time, Captain Stefano Rivera, who we had the pleasure of meeting on Star Princess a few years ago. So that was a wonderful birthday gift for our son to get to give the captain a big hug and say hello and get to know him a little bit better. So. This evening is probably gonna be an early night for us. Thankfully, we have a sea day tomorrow to recover before we go to Hong Kong, but we're gonna go wander the ship a little bit, pick up Junior, and then go to dinner. We had a great day today in Taiwan and we're so looking forward to a sea day tomorrow before we visit Hong Kong. Now having <laughs> such immense jet lag has really made for a new appreciation of those sea days in between the port days so we can rest and regroup and just kind of get back on schedule. Junior Editor is off in the kids club right now doing one of the many activities that he gets to enjoy from watching movies to doing arts and crafts to just tons of different options for him. He's really enjoying meeting all of these new friends from all around the world. He has new friends from Australia and Malaysia and many, many different countries. That doesn't even include the staff that is helping out up there. There's four or five different people that are doing a wonderful job and make us feel so comfortable leaving him up there to play and hang out with all of his new friends. So thank you so much you guys for following along in this awesome journey. We're really excited that we have several more ports to feature for you all. We are going to be visiting Hong Kong the day after tomorrow and then we have two ports in Vietnam and we're disembarking in Singapore. So until next port, we'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for following along.